It's now a wait and see game for hundreds of Arizona state employees who are fighting to keep their health benefits for their partners. I was at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco when lawyers for the state of Arizona and 10 same-sex couples had the chance to present their arguments to the judges. My name is Deanna Flager and I appreciate the opportunity to be here today to have our story told. Deanna Flager and Mia LaBarbera weren't expecting to spend their 21st anniversary in the courtroom in San Francisco on a rainy day. But that's what they did to ensure their story was heard. And Governor Brewer moved to eliminate the domestic partner health insurance option, thereby forcing Mia off of our family coverage. Ironically, at the same time, Mia's job with Arizona State Parks was also eliminated. And they are not alone. Couples like Carrie Sperling and Sue Shapcott worry they may also lose their benefits. It's not good policy and it's, you know, blatant discrimination. <laughs> Right now, judges at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals are trying to decide whether or not the state can pull health coverage from same-sex partners of hundreds of state employees. The state claims it's part of a budget-cutting effort, but lawyers for the plaintiffs argue that would deny domestic partners equal compensation for equal work. Everybody has to carry their fair share. That's what the 14th Amendment and equal protection require. It's not the greater duty of lesbians and gay men to shield other employees from the state's budgetary woes. For now, all these couples can do is wait <laughs> until the judges make their decision. We tried reaching out to the lawyers for the state, but our calls were not returned. The lawyer for the plaintiff says it could take a couple of months to get a decision.